I literally got up so early because I have my history mock today and I'm actually terrified. I'm like shivering in my boots. Um, it's on the Weimar like Republic and Germany and I don't know what I'm doing. It's so confusing. I was revising maybe five hours yesterday and I still don't know nothing. I know nothing. I feel like I know nothing. I feel like my head is just going to explode and I'm just terrified. I'm actually terrified. And so many people are like having their last day of school today tell me why i have three more days like why oh, this thing is really on my nerves and it probably didn't even work i am so confused i don't know what's going on with my hair but <laughs> it's so cold in my room right now i literally put on this jumper because it's that cold and oh, i should turn on my heater okay if you hear some sort of sound in the back it's just my heater okay there's no chainsaw if you're picking your options for gcse's don't do history save yourselves don't do it. Actually, it's better than geography, but it's just so much stuff. <laughs> Looks me poor, and my hands are so pale. Like, what the hell? Ew, it looks so odd. I actually can't be bothered. It's Friday. It's Friday, and I have two exams. English literature and history. Why do I have two essay-based, like, exams on the same day? Like, it's actual torture. Oh, and on top of that, my ear is so infected, it's so swollen, it's got like pus coming out of it, it's disgusting. I should have enough time to get a proper breakfast, because literally, my stomach cannot rumble in the exam. I actually will cry, like it's worse than coughing, it's actually worse than coughing. I'm going to use my Benetint, like, blush type lip tint thing, because I haven't used it in literally the longest time, and now I want to. It doesn't look bad, I just look like I have a fever. I like one of Santa's little elves, you know, with rosy cheeks. I'm hoping it goes down a little bit because, because, actually, it looks right now. I started doing my mascara and then I decided I'm going to take my hair out because I just cannot look at myself like this anymore. I just look a little bit, just a tad bit ridiculous. Or oh, would you look at that? I did absolute poo all. We did nothing. My lashes, what are they doing? They're making my eyes look really swollen and I really don't like it. Like, it just looks stupid. Gorgeous. Okay, I've got to go get some breakfast now. I'll do some last minute revision for history. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Get ready me for my first day of Easter half term. So today I'm just going to meet some of my friends, I think. So, yeah, that's what I'm getting ready for. Oh, my God. I've just looked at the time. And I think I'm meeting them at 12 o'clock. And it's 16 past 11. So, need to be a bit quick. But I've just done my hair. And I'm wearing this top, which is from PLT. And then some jeans and my zara jacket i actually wear my zara jacket like so much but it just goes with everything so yeah oh my god i'm actually gonna need a new plump plump cream like okay and i'm gonna use my brilliance bronzing drops um but today it was raining earlier i think it stopped now but it was really windy also the reason why my room looks really dark in the background is because i've closed my blinds but the lighting on my videos is better when it's closed, so that's why. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little bit of bronzer and blush, as usual. But before that, I'm going to use my Glow Recipe Plump Plump Lip Gloss. And I'm going to use my Indu Brow Gel. This is actually so good. I used it yesterday for school, and my brows stayed in place all day, even through the rain. Okay, so now I'm going to use my Rare Beauty Bronzer. Pity, pity. Okay, um, now I'm going to use my Frilliance Blush. It's annoying me that it's like uneven, but it's okay. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray now. Okay, I'm just gonna curl my lashes and then do mascara. Okay, guys, the makeup's all done, so I'm gonna show you my outfit. So, Zara jacket, PLT top. These are the jeans. Um, they're from New Look, and then just my Jordan. But yeah, bye, guys. <laughs>
boyfriend went out because he is going to New Zealand and he's gonna be gone for three weeks and that includes one week of school and like the whole of my Easter holidays but at least it's not like three weeks from school so next week I'm gonna have to spend the whole week without him bear in mind I only hang out with him like he's literally my best friend boyfriend like I only hang out with him anyways I bought like two okay so basically I bought one of the ordinary niacinamide acid off eBay right and I was like something is really fishy about this because it's like a yellowy color and it smelled really weird what does it smell like like it smelled like kind of like play-doh and then so i bought another one of like boots look at the color difference look how different the colors are this one's literally orange that one's literally so much more dark and like the bottoms one's black one's yellow it was just weird it's just weird i looked it up and it was like normal that it goes yellow but literally everything about that was completely different to the normal one anyway so i am reading your guys comments and i know a lot of you guys do want me to do a get ready with me in portuguese but i only speak portuguese with my family obviously speak it as fluent as english and when i go to brazil people say like oh my gosh your accent is so strong i don't know what if i get judged but i will do it i will fuzz in but probably like I like to go to school or something also did i mention i have a new ring light now this used to be my old one and it's so bad the ring light doesn't work it stops working after like three months and it wasn't like strong at all it kept like sinking like what is the point i found this one which is like 10 times better like it has a little light here it's like really strong it stays upright then the only thing with this one is that it doesn't have a ring light but i found this little light which i can attach it's like really bright and really small and it works perfectly i love it anyway so when me and my boyfriend went out today he gave me flowers and they're so pretty they're pink oh. and my mum today like saw the flowers and she was like oh my gosh you should put them in the kitchen table because no one's gonna see them in your room i was like no they're my flowers they go in my room because they're so pretty look at them anyways i filled up the vase vase what do you say is it vase or vase do i take all the rubber bands or not i'm gonna let them be free oh it's so pretty i'm gonna put them over here also did i show you guys what i'm wearing because it's so cute it's like a little romper but it's so warm because it's like fleece lined and that makes it really soft but i really do like it i think it's really pretty again i'll link everything in my video don't worry but anyways I'm ready now. So I love you all so much. Have a good day. Bye. Hello, guys. Get ready with me. Get ready with me. So today, I am um, going to see Owen, and then I'm doing something very, very exciting, which you guys will know about. I'm so happy to just be up a little bit earlier than I have been this week, because I swear to God, sorry, my makeup's all in here, because um, I was obviously at Owen, so my makeup's literally everywhere. I need to sort my hair out ASAP. We're leaving in 55 minutes, because it's 9 o'clock. We're leaving at 10 o'clock. And then I need to get... Okay, I need to stop yapping. All right, so today I'm going to Owen's at 10 o'clock. Owen's getting a haircut at 9, so now. Um, and then that means he should be done by the time I get there. But then I leave Owen's at 1 o'clock. And then I go to um, the train station. And I'm getting, the, um, I'm getting the train to Newcastle and i'm meeting abby i've known abby for quite a while now but we've just like we live like so close together but like we've just never had the chance to meet each other so we've been friends for quite a while and we're finally meeting up so i'm so so excited to see her um because literally she literally lives like half an hour away from me how good is that like i'm not even kidding like everyone else who i'm friends with on social media lives like down in london like four hours away from me but no abby lives literally like half an hour i'm like girl get your ass on a train and meet me okay so we're going to Newcastle, we're going to do a bit of shopping, go out for a cute little dinner. Uh, it's going to be real, real cute. And I'm so, 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 so excited for that. Um, it's going to be so, so fun. But for the time being, I'm stressing out a little bit because Owen's, as I said earlier, Owen's getting his hair cut. I think every girl with a boyfriend can relate to this. When they go get their hair done, you're always terrified that they're going to come out looking bald. And you know it grows back. You know you know, hair's going to grow back. But it's just for that like one second you're in pure shock because you're like, why the hell does he look bald? Why does he look like Tyson Fury? Tell me now. Tyson Fury, that was an odd one. But anyway, anyway. Um, he was saying, uh, um, was saying, I'm not going to get anything off the top. I'm just going to get it off the sides. But the top of his hair is actually quite long. So, uh, I think he should get a little bit off the top, but not a lot. But he's always scared that his hair's going to get, like, messed up. So, I'm scared now. Because I don't know whether he's got it off the top or he's just got it off the bot, like, the sides. So, we're going to have to wait and see. But, fingers crossed, it looks good. And I'm literally all complete for this cruise now. Like, literally, not even kidding. We leave on Sunday. Hold on, let me blend this all out. Also, no joke, why does my phone keep doing this? Wait, what was I on about? Let's just say I'm going to blend this out and then hold on. Oh, yeah, but no, I'm literally complete with this groove. Like, I've literally... Um, Tuesday, I got my hair done. I love my hair. Like, everyone's like, keep your opinions to yourself, guys. I really don't give a shit, really. Because people are like, oh, no, too little. But your brown hair, suit your brown hair more. Can't, like, get your brown hair back. Uh, why have you gone blonde for? I don't give a fuck. I like it. Is it your hair? No. 
So, why are you so bothered? Like, realistically, it's your hair. Why are you so bothered? No, it's my hair. Why are you so bothered? Like, live your own life. Let me live my own life. Like, what are you yapping about? Anyway, I got my hair done on Tuesday, and I absolutely love it. It's stunning. And then on Wednesday, I got my nails and my toes done. They're matching. So, when I wear heels and things like that, they're going to look so cute. I'm so, so excited. I've got pink Crocs as well, so they're going to match even better. And then on Thursday, I've got my lashes done. And I think it's been in perfect order because hair will last the longest. Then Belle's will last second longest. And then eyelashes will last, last third longest. So, I think I've done it in perfect time. Everyone's been saying to me, is your makeup like a big trust the process? Yes, it is. Because my powder fixes everything. Like, I swear to God. When I tell you it fixes everything, it blends everything together, sort of. So, my makeup is the biggest trust the process. It looks all right when it's done, but it doesn't look the best. Like, I'm not an MUA. Like, I don't know how to do makeup. Um, I never will know how to do makeup unless someone sits there and teaches me for a solid good hour. Like, I'll have no idea. But I have, like, the gist of it. I know, like, the gist of it. Like, where stuff goes obviously but i'm like a man when it comes to makeup like i want to wear it every single day but i have no idea how to wear it that's actually been my problem for like a kid like i've never knew how to make up but i've always wanted to do it like girl stop <laughs> anyway i think today i'm gonna wear jeans a nice crop top and a nice top no what the hell jeans a nice crop top and a nice jacket and my john falls i think that looks so, so cute but i really want to curl my hair but i'm after the owens house because i don't have time right now so i'm gonna have to get my curlers out my suitcase which is gonna be a task and a bloody half and then take them to owens house and then leave them at owens house and then get them the next day mm. Mm, 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 mm. that is so much effort but we can do it oh i need to stop yapping my face off i need this on for another minute hold on alexa volume four Sorry, I love that song right now. I absolutely adore this song right now. I don't know what it is. It's just so good. I also broke my blush yesterday at Owens. So I'm gonna cry, like. Kill me. Hence, so good, she honorable. She can ride a dick like carnival. I just did the impossible. Go, 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 go. Hence, so good, she honorable. She can ride a dick like a carnival. I don't did the impossible. Mm -hmm. Right, stop. Okay, now highlighter. One of my favorite bits. There's no fucking way, mate. Nah, guys. This happened to my last one as well. It just broke. I'm gonna cry. It's my favourite highlighter ever and it's broke. Oh well, we're gonna make it work because we do queen shit like that. Why is everything breaking? It's gonna make me cry. Like, why is everything in my bag breaking? You know, guys, it's fine. I'm going to Newcastle today. I'll buy some new flipping highlighter then since that one decides to break in my face. face. Gotta love my bag as well, like... Right, eyebrows. I'm just gonna slick them up. Th what I found with this eyebrow stuff though is it does like flake off a little bit, but it's so good, like it sticks it back so well. But after a while, it kind of like flakes off and you can like peel it off. It's quite satisfying, but it's annoying. I'm just gonna fill my eyebrows in a touch and then setting spray, and then I'm literally really done. They are okay, now I'm literally really gonna do setting spray. I think my makeup looks quite cute today, to be fair. Oh my god, lip liner. I haven't been able to put lip liner on in so long because I've been at Owens and I forgot it. So I can finally put my lip liner on. I'm so happy. What I like to do, just wait, trust the process again. I get some of the Benny tint, what I've just started to do, and I put it on top of the lip liner. Just watch how good this goes. Right. Give it a sec. Oh, oh it tastes disgusting. Look how nice it goes. And then I put a nice cute little gloss over the top and it looks extra, extra cute. I'm not kidding you right now. And then I'm done. How cute. Gorgeous. Right, I'm literally going to wear jeans, a crop top and a jacket. So I'm literally going to go because I have still half an hour, so quite a while. But I love yous and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye. I'm going around my best friend's house today because we see each other every day at school, but seeing each other at school and seeing each other outside of school are just two different things. Like in school, it's depressing because it's literally school, but outside of school, it's fun because it's not school. And my half term started yesterday, like my school half term, but I didn't go in yesterday because I forgot to wake up. Like 
I didn't wake up for my alarm and I woke up at like half nine. I, I woke up late and didn't end up going in. Also, I bedazzled a lot of my skincare last night. Not last night, like yesterday because I got really bored. So I bedazzled my skincare. And I love it. It just looks really Layla. I also did this one. But I'm just going around hers. It's currently five minutes until 12 o'clock. And I think I've been awake since like nine or ten. I'm not too sure, but I've just been chilling. I went in the shower. I've washed my hair because I had a whole load of gel in it. And I've also shaved my leg i'm on the phone for her right now she's literally like pink curling her hair i like this angle this lighting is like giving it looks way better than it normally does but i'm just gonna go to hers with literally my towel in my hair because she has like all the good heat styling tools and she's gonna pink curl my hair for me and also my youtube video will be premiered my meet and greet one will be premiered tonight for when is it for 5 p.m so my youtube is in my bio but i'm gonna do that i'm really proud of myself like i'm actually doing well with youtube so i just need to finish off editing the video and have it uploaded asap but we're just gonna be matching outfits we're both wearing black shorts and then black hoodies so that's our cue so we're gonna just be chilling around hers to be honest and then she's got this really nice hill cliff bit near hers so we're gonna go there and gossip it's been so long since i've been around her house and i miss her dog and her brother and her mum. i literally love her house but this is gonna be like the only opportunity we're gonna have to do something together over the half term because on tuesday tuesday morning at like 5 a.m let's actually go and sleep around on the monday because we're going disneyland for a few days and then when i come back scarlet's going on a cruise for two weeks so she misses the first week back at school and then we can see each other after that. I just want to use all of my bedazzled things because I love it. I feel like a pretty princess. But we've got something planned. We're going to be going out to the Drunch restaurant. I think, I don't know if any of you know it. But it's like those ones, they do the designer drinks. Like with the designer little logo, foam, whatever bits on top. I went there a while back with my mum and one of our family friends. But I've been invited there by Drunch. So I'm taking Scarlet because obviously I love Scarlet. I don't want to do much to my face. Literally, I could go looking like a ragged rabid ragged rabid dog and i won't care because it's literally just scarlet but i feel like doing myself up a bit because we're gonna get loads of tiktoks so i think i'm just gonna blob a teeny bit of concealer and maybe some blush and bronzer i had a lot of really cool pr come yesterday though I had this whole p louise thing it was so uh, it, i don't know how it was meant to work cause it really confused me but it was so cool and then i had something come from say a whole load of bits from say and i'm gonna do a video trying it all out because i was like flabbergasted and then i had some bits come from coats too my skin's looking really glowy i love glow recipe actually makes you glow weather's being really bipolar so like one minute it's really sunny the next minute it's gloomy but the weather's still nice and warm so that's all i care about i'm not joking i've literally been sitting here for however long i've been awake just watching people's holiday vlogs because i need to be back on the beach you know where i need to be i need to be back at the maldives i would sell my right leg to go back there right now like if you have a one-way ticket to go to the Maldives right now, I would cut off my foot to go. I need to go back there. I got the most amazing tan. It was so nice. It was so sunny. Oh, I loved it. And the water was amazing. The vibes were amazing. The beach was amazing. The food was amazing. I just need to. Put, I just need to be on holiday. I can't do. I can't do Essex anymore. It's driving me insane. I feel so like depressed here because it's so gloomy all the time. I also still need to put all of my jewelry on because see, all my jewelry is okay to go in the shower, but I don't like wearing it in the shower because it stresses me out like it's all gonna be wet i don't know i'm like see everyone's like um blah blah, blah fake but at least i can wear my jewelry in the shower and i can but it stresses me out it can't just be me i get stressed out when i wear jewelry in general like i went to bed last night wearing my pandora charm bracelet and my cartier bracelet and it stressed me out like i feel so trapped my concealers don't work literally none of them are the right shade so i just need to mix them all together and i think this perfect one thing i actually hate about being mixed race though is that in winter i go so white and then in summer i go so i just wish it was always summer so i can always be really nice and dark but instead it's like what month is it it's like the end of march this year is going by so fast but so it slows down a bit near may because that's when summer starts but when i'm around scots we've got so many tiktoks we need to do like i've i've found a whole load of dances we actually do the tiktoks we say we're gonna do like a lot of people say it and they don't do it we do it i force scarlet to do them like it was about i think three am once and i saw a tiktok and i forced her to get out of bed and do it but we've got a school dance summer show coming up soon so i'm gonna make her 
help me choreograph a dance that we're gonna do obviously literally the minute i woke up though i had to get straight in the shower and i was in there for ages because i just know my face was really really puffy because last night i had like a whole meltdown because i was sad like i every time i this is why i love the vampire diaries because every time i watch it i actually let out all of my feelings and so I just try. I'm having a really good makeup day, which I'm really surprised because normally when I'm going places, my makeup doesn't always cooperate. But I'm just gonna do the finishing touches with my Say Blush. I love this blush; it's in the shade Cutie. I was actually meant to be around Scarlett's house at 11 o'clock, and now it's five past 12. So I'm probably gonna get there around half 12, but it's fine. It's fine, guys. I don't need to get back at a set time anyway, but so I'm not gonna be there until like midnight. So I'm sure her mum might get fed up of me. I don't know where all of my makeup's gone. Where's all of my eye? Oh, here's my eyebrow gel. I love, I just, I just love, I love to love, I love being happy. See, I feel like it's summer and I just hear like the birds tweeting and it's like sunny. I've got light coming into my room, which is a shocker. I just, I just love it. I feel, it feels like summer. Okay, I've just curled my eyelashes, finished off my brows and done some setting spray. And now I'm all done. I'm literally going to go with a towel in my hair because I don't really care. Anyways, I'm all done. I've got ready really quickly and I've had a really good makeup day. So I'm going to have a good day. Bye, queen. Green is honestly like my favourite colour ever. And I haven't done a green makeup look in God knows how long. So I feel like today is the day. Oh, also, just quickly, if you can hear loads of background noise, because there's loads of work going on outside my house right now. So it's just like endless lorries and cranes and stuff. So if you can hear that, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Obviously, just prepping my skin first. I'm using the Kiehl's Hyaluronic Acid. I'm also putting like the tiniest little bit of eye cream under my eyes. This is also the Kiehl's Avocado One. And then moisturizer, I'm gonna use my Inky List Omega Water Cream, which clearly I need a new one of. <laughs> this is really inconvenient right now. I'm actually gonna use two eyeshadow palettes today. So I'm using the Beauty Bay Bright Matte Palette and then this Kaleidos Escape Pod Palette. The shimmers in this palette sensational i'm actually going to start with this palette and i'm going to use that shade first of all and i'm using this as my transition sort of shade i'm just buffing that in my crease with a big fluffy brush and then i'm going in with the shade granny smith from the beauty bay palette and i'm kind of packing that all over my lid and then i'm going to kind of blend that green into that first shade i use but just like not as high up so that the brown is still peeking through a little bit i'm actually going to dust that first brownie shade over the green as well just to make it a little bit more neutral not so like bright green so it's a bit more like of a khaki shade time for shimmer and i can't decide between the two green shades this one one's a bit brighter this one's a bit more like khaki or maybe i'll just do a mixture of both why not <laughs> i'll go with the more khaki one first to see how i feel i'm gonna focus this shimmer just in the center of the eyelid and then from the beauty bay palette i'm using this shade which is labyrinth and i'm gonna mix it with a little bit of black to deepen it up a little bit on a tiny little angled brush and i'm gonna make a tiny little wing as i always say this is why i do my eye makeup before my face makeup because imagine getting that on your fully done face makeup that would be heartbreaking <laughs> but because i've done it before my face makeup i can just wipe it away moving on to the face for primer i'm gonna use this new glow hub product i tried this on the back of my hand and it literally looked insane so i cannot wait to get it on my face i don't actually know what it's called illuminating serum drops but oh my god the like dewy glow that this gives they are stunning my skin is kind of wild at the moment so i'm gonna spot conceal before i put any like foundation or anything on my skin and obviously what else would i be using other than the lancome concealer i just really trust it it's gonna look good it's gonna cover nicely it's just amazing. And I'm literally just taking a really small eyeshadow brush and just blending around the edges of that concealer. I'm not going to blend the middle of them so there can be loads of like coverage on the actual spots. Really roughly, it doesn't have to be perfect. Not going to lie, all these spots are kind of at the stage where they're like scabs. So they're not going to really look that great, but oh well, what can you do? And then as my foundation today, I'm going to use my YSL Skin Tint. This is the Bare Look Tint and I use the shade NU6. And I'm going to work it into a big dense brush and then just pat that into my skin. Look how pretty that skin tint is. It's so nice. I feel like this just makes your skin look so healthy. This is actually my first time using this brush and I really like it. It's from Say. Really nice for like foundation and skin tints. Time for bronzer. I'm going to use the darker shade of this Lancome Serum Concealer. This shade is 450W. And to be honest, I'm just going to use that same brush to pat that in. And then for blush, I feel like this look needs a little something, but nothing too crazy. So I'm going to go in with Rare Beauty in the shade Hope. Like a nice muted pinky colour. And then I'm going back in with my Lancome concealer, of course. Under my eyes and then on any spots that just need an extra bit of coverage. And as per usual at the moment, I'm just buffing that in with my little Real Techniques brush. Patting over my whole face with a damp sponge just to make sure it's all nice and smooth as possible. I'm using my Beauty Crop Vitamin Bay powder to set today. My Made by Mitchell bronze pod arrived and I'm so excited to try it. I do feel like I should have got a slightly lighter shade. I got the shade Corn Syrup, but it's fine we'll make it work i'm just gonna dust that onto my skin 
she's really pretty and powder blush i'm going to use armani shade 10 because it really just gives what it needs to give without being too much like can you see that difference it's nothing drastic but it just like makes everything look complete i just quickly done my brows and did the last finishing touches to my eyes i used this lancome listylo waterproof little eyeliner in my waterline this is the shade 06 vision mv and i really like it i'm really loving this look <laughs> i'm gonna melt all the products on my face together with the glow milk mist and bring a bit of a glow back to my skin here is the finished look i just put some of the nyx fat oil slick stick in the shade link in my bio on my lips it's so pretty i feel like this is my favorite look that i've done in a while i really like it but yeah anyways thank you so so much for watching i love you so so much and i will see you soon bye bye get ready with me while i tell you things that influencers do that give me the ick i have to start this off by saying none of this is targeted okay like i've probably seen like a billion people do it it's just i'm just saying in general it's just like no. first i think honestly most people agree with this what is my rare beauty tinted moisturizer leaking when they start and stop the video like 20 different times and just does don't edit it out like no i don't even care that much but if they're doing it and you can hear their nail clicking it every second and you're like and you can see them rushing and stuff i can't i'll give you guys an example once you ready with me molly fart in your face like what are you doing are you trying to go somewhere or something like are you rushing just don't film or get ready with me if you gotta be like rushing like clickety clickety clack i don't have my nail like it literally came off but another one is when they aren't grateful about like the pr that they get uh -uh -uh. like they could literally get pr from like louis vuitton or just like glow recipe or just like some really a good brand that's like popular and, oh my god the reaction would be like guys gucci just sent me this limited edition brush and then like don't forget to say thank you or something like who do you think you are oh my gosh this one really makes me angry when they're like bots like, I hope you guys get what I'm saying. What I mean by bots is, like, people that, like, literally, like, they're so boring and they're so, like, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. They're just so unreal that you genuinely think that they could be AI. Or when they have, like, no personality and they're, like, not relatable at all or they're just, like, not funny. Like, that's kind of what I mean by bots. And they're just, like, everything they say, like, sounds fake and not, like, how they would actually act in real life. I'm honestly sure, like, I've done so many of these things, so don't come at me for, like, saying any of this they're filming an ad right and they like open the product for the first time and it's filled up to the top like a skincare product and they're like pretend this is like a toner and it is full up to the top and it is never used and they're like opening the packaging and they're like guys this is my holy grail product i literally love it so much yet yeah, they're trying it for the first time be real in your ads please if they're not paying you enough just tell us i'm sure people don't do this why my brother screaming? I'm sure this sometimes isn't like on purpose, but when there's like a trend that like you know that someone started and they don't give them credit, they think they're like so much like better than the other person. Like that's stupid. I'm sure there's times where they don't know that they're copying someone, but like I'm sure there is times that like influencers have just not given someone credit because they think they're like better than someone else. Or just... I personally have not experienced this, but like if I did, this would literally like give me the egg. Like if an influencer is like acting so nice in real life and then you meet them in person or something and they're just a total brat or just like a whole different person, that's you're lying. A merit stick fell off my counter and it literally just broke what i wasn't even using it i just knocked it off the table i actually hate everyone give up this sucks will i break out if i like put this back in rub it on like my hand to get like the floor off of it that's honestly all i gotta say today please do not come at me in the comments or like at any creator and be like oh my god they did this like oh i can't i know katie fang does like the pointing thing but like i don't even care like start and stop because she's my favorite influencer so like that's just an example this person someone could do it but like i would still watch their videos and i still enjoy them i'm just saying like things that can make them better okay guys i'm all done here's the final makeup look don't look my nails i don't know i don't care i literally got them done like a week and a half ago and how would they fall off that fast these were like 130 dollars <laughs>
My first time here in Paris literally couldn't have been more perfect. This trip was just absolutely insane. This morning we did a little baking class. We made macaroons, they tasted amazing. Then we went over to the spa and all got full body massages, which I've never gotten a massage before in my life. And let me just say, that's exactly what I needed. It was incredible. I went shopping a little bit and now I'm back in my hotel room in a comfy sweater. I could not have dreamt a more perfect day. I'm gonna edit the video of this entire week on the plane tomorrow, so you guys will be seeing that on Friday. I already know it's gonna be one of my favorite ones yet. Also exhausted, like you can tell in my eyes how tired I am, like they're literally bloodshot. <laughs> my hair is insanely dirty, but it is still curled, so I was thinking about doing the messy bun, like all the messy curly pieces coming out, kind of like the Delaney's child bun. I'm gonna follow her tutorial because I love her. She's so pretty. Hopefully I can achieve that. This hair has been through a lot. None of my heat tools that I brought work here because I didn't bring a converter. So I was just about to say how I've been living off of espresso shots this entire trip just to keep me going. And it just reminded me that I needed to order another one because I don't know how I'm gonna stay up all night. Room service, it's really cool. You can order it on this iPad. An iced latte with almond milk. These bronzers are like my new obsession. I cannot wait for them to come out in the US. Look what just arrived. I am so excited right now. Guys, these french fries are amazing. I've been literally getting them once a day. Look at them. Are we seeing this? The thin fries. Like, they're just so good. Coffee. So good. Okay, I had to change into my robes so that way I can start my hair because I'm a little bit nervous about it. I just watched Delaney's video and I'm gonna use her tutorial. This is what she did. Okay, I've just been literally shoving bobby pins in and I think it looks cute. I'm not really sure. I'm a little afraid. I'm gonna pin this little section up. Last bobby pin, hopefully. I don't wanna know how many are in my hair right now. Is this the hair? I genuinely can't tell if I love it or hate it, but I literally can't do anything else with my hair, so it has to stay like this. Hey right, guys, this is the finished look. I don't know about the hair. Hopefully it looks cute, but here we are. <laughs> hey guys, happy Friday. You couldn't tell I'm not going to school today because it's Good Friday, so I am officially on spring break. I'm really for the beach tomorrow morning, and I'm literally so freaking excited. I have yet to start packing, so literally while I'm making this video, I'm packing on my makeup anyways after this i'm going to church i need to meet jessica at 11 it's 10 40 right now so it might be a little late but we're doing that and then after that i think we're gonna tan because the uv is supposed to be good today then i'm getting my nails done because i need it and then i'm coming home packing and then i have a late birthday dinner for my dad and then i have to finish packing by seven but realistically that's not gonna happen okay moving on have you guys seen the New York puncher guy? Like, what is happening? If you have no idea what I'm talking about, there's this guy in New York who is going around punching women who are looking down at their phones. There are at least four girls who have posted videos about it on TikTok, and I don't think they've caught the guy. I've seen a few videos that are, like, theorizing that it's some homeless dude who's, like, upset, but, like, that's crazy. I can't imagine just walking down the road, minding my own business, and then just getting like clocked in the face for no reason. Don't get me wrong, I love New York so much and I know a bunch of weird stuff happens there, but like, I don't know, that's like kind of creepy. Anyways, I'm done, bye.